Hello, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm Hilka, I'm empath, and I just like to do these little talks on how I feel about things. And you know, that's what's kind of cool about the world and what it's becoming is people are they're being allowed to feel. Yeah, don't matter. It ain't gender specific. Men, women. For you know, years and years and years, a lot of people their feelings have been denied been denied their feelings you know shoot they've been denied of accounts of things that have happened they know that they've happened and later in life they question people that <clears throat> it happened with no, no 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 you're mistaken you're mistaken people are coming into believing in themselves more than what other people tell them to be true and it's quite wonderful to see people are finding their own strength their own power, their own spark, light, flame, that little thing that makes your heart beat, you, your spirit. More people are finding that they are spirit, less human. Humans are kind of gross, really, if you think about humanity as a species. What they do, I mean, I don't know any other animal kingdoms, you know, they don't, they don't declare war on each other. Animals don't declare war. Animals don't create bombs to freaking kill and cause havoc and, you know, all that stuff. They just, they don't do it. Humans do it. We're the ones with thumbs. It's just really weird to me. We're supposed to be the custodians of this plant. We all, planet we always have been. We're supposed to take care of it. Man, think about the varieties of fruit that should exist already, you know, that we could have built upon, that we could have created... You know, I think about the strawberry banana, the strabana or something, you know, that they could, people, you know, mankind and human race could get creative in, in, in those areas, you know, and then they, God, the storyline, who came up with this storyline that, you guys, the biggest weapons wins. <laughs> Dude, I don't care about any of that stuff. None of that stuff interests me. None, you know, and I ain't never been mainstream. Like, I just assume hang out outside and freaking listen to the, tr the 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 breeze go through the trees and the birds come visit me. I just assume that, you know. And then they started, you know, and then I had to go to school. They stuck me in school and they started telling me all this stuff. History. I'm like, that don't even make any sense. Why is that like that? Why is this like that? And I'm like... This world doesn't make sense. It does not compute. It does not compute, you know. Pay paradise or tear down paradise and put up a parking lot. They've been singing that tune for years, you know. I always had a wild imagination when I was a little girl, you know. I'd find myself crying like five, six years old, an adult. What's wrong? <laughs> what if one day all the songs run out? <laughs> All the creativity song got, runs out, and there's no new music. And parents and adults didn't understand where I'd get things and why I'd feel so emotional and so deep. You know, I'm surprised they didn't try to put me on medication a long time ago. I don't like pills. I don't like synthetic drugs. I don't like alcohol. Why well, I do? I just don't like what I do. So I just don't care about people. I see it all the time. I heard a story about a guy who, who um, a buddy of mine, you know, uh, that there's some people that are showing up where he worked that are drinking. And, and it's like, you know, people wanted to wait, you know, windows a period of time to <laughs> not go with this, this group because of they were drinking, you know. And, and I was like, that used to be me. You know, yeah, it's all fun in the beginning. Woohoo, good time, Charlie, good time, Charlie. But there's always a point where people overshoot the mark, you know. And then what the people have to, you know, the people at home after the good time, Charlie's, what they've had to deal with, you know. And then it's always it's such a cop out because the freaking good time, Charlie, that has turned sour and is that turned mean and abusive on occasion, you know. He, he, oh, it's, I don't remember because I was drunk. Well, then don't drink. 
Oh, I can't do that. Well, yeah, what kind of big man are you now throwing around kids and women and stuff like that? You know what I mean? So all these stories of all these hurts. I was, when I went and got my hair cut today, I was like, the freaking astrology, man. God, and it's bizarre. It's just waking things up in people. It's waking dormant dormant memories up. You know, they're, they taste something. They smell something. They hear, they, you know, they're triggered a memory. And they're like, oh, God, that happened. And oftentimes they're like, oh, God, I did that. I stuffed that forever. The grossness in me, a lot of people aren't, you know, like they're going to go, yeah, go say, hey, I did this. Hey, there's plenty of people that have freaking done wrongs, broken crime, done crimes, and have come forward and taken accountability. You know, it happens. I've seen it. I've done it. It's awkward. It's weird. I'm just glad I ain't never done anything like, you know, I didn't go joyriding in other people's cars and stuff like that because I, because the consequence of going to back. But all the stuff that I made amends for and I made right, um, it was, uh, <laughs> you know, I was never much of a lawbreaker like that, you know, it's just, and the one, and <clears throat> I did used to drink and drive and I did get paid the consequence for those on, on a couple of occasions and. God, see, it's just drinking. I just don't care about anybody else. It's just all about what I want. And if I want to get someplace, and if I've been, you know, I did, none of that stuff matters, you know. And I just think that I lived that way for so long. And I even justified my behavior with, well, nobody's looking at you anyway. You know, your phone number rings. People don't want you around, you know. The only relationships that you have with people, like, for any longevity is when, when I'm you know, putting out the effort, and, and now it's just, I think people, you know, people get lonelier in their older years, because it's just, you get tired of freaking, where do you go to meet people like you, when you've been looking for people like you your whole life, where do you go, I'm always looking on events on Facebook, and calendars, local calendars, events, things to do, and then I, you know, sometimes I see something that, you know, I find intriguing, and then I show up, and always just more of the same but I have a pretty good time with me you know I always have a pretty good time with me in my soundtrack be bopping through long along and I and I got my my the people that I do regular business with that I see at the grocery store and the laundry mat and the, you know I always get my every couple of weeks my pretty cool combo with with me and Calvin at, at uh, connection cut connection and uh, freaking fifteen dollar haircuts for a dude, you know, and and he lets me sit in his chair and he doesn't have to. It's not a lot of barbers. I've been turned around and people scowled at. I got scowled at today. I walked in with a big old hot smile on my face and wave, and the guy just freaking stared me down. I was like, "Find it, be a dick, whatever. <laughs> Ain't gonna break your face to smile back, but whatever, <laughs> you know." And it's just like I just whatever people, whatever, man. I mean. <laughs> If a friendly face is being friendly to you, be friendly back, you know? <laughs> I always start out with all, that's cool. But then I got home, so I did lots of stuff today. I went and did laundry, got my hair cut, went and got grocery store, so I'm going to go out this weekend. And <laughs> I always like to stay in. It's freaking, on the weekends, trying to go to the grocery store, it's just freaking people just bring their whole family to freaking block traffic in the aisles, and it's really annoying. So, um... I got home today and I was I was watching some Scrubs. See, the cool thing to me about going back and watching these shows, because like Scrubs was on from two thousand one to two thousand nine. Those were like that was like when I that was like my when I first got to Omaha and I got in trouble. You know, that was two thousand one was kind of rough for me and. Um, really interesting actually now that I think about it and I, and I remember watching Scrubs here and there but I never watched it all the way through and to think about where I was in that time you know it's kind of neat to go back and and the storylines are really pretty poignant too like like um the one that the episode I just watched is like best friend you know best friend and 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 uh I just I've always been looking for my best friend someone my my some 
pot of gold. I mean, yeah, I like me. You know, I like me just fine. But everybody has, everybody's got to have their best buddy, their confidant, right? Everybody gets one of those that isn't your mom, <laughs> you know? Or your, they will talk back more than your dog. <laughs> so, um, but, um... So the storyline of this 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 friendship, it was kind of interesting because it, the you know again time is so funny because this stuff was discussed in two thousand one, but I'm watching it in two thousand nineteen, eighteen years later, and it's still relevant as it as my life is happening right here right now, and the astrology is oddly similar too. So I just know that some people are. I think one of the things that makes life bearable is that I never lose hope. I don't lose hope. That's one thing that sustains me. And the days that my hope gets smaller, what I gotta look at, I'm finding is when I'm focusing less on my gratitude too. When I start thinking about things that I want, don't have, it eases out my gratitude, my ego starts pouting, all that stuff, you know, but there's plenty of stuff to do, you know, there's always ideas to be had, there's always, you know, but, you know, in the evening it's hard, I freaking, God, there's so many, I'm so blessed right now, though, I'm gonna wrap this up, because it's getting kind of long, I was gonna do a live, and then I just changed my mind, I don't want it, but. I'm getting freaking eaten up by mosquitoes, so it's I like going out during the day. Me and the cat even got our hour during the day of a uh, mosquito of cause, but because I can't hang out too much in the evening. I would love to, but I don't like to put the repellents and stuff like that on me, and they just freaking love me. They love me. But, um, so hopefully this weekend I'll get some more time outside under the sun, under the under the on the sun chair with the CAT and um, maybe get to hang out with my buddy tomorrow on on Facebook. We, we hang out and have safety meetings and just talk about life, you know, and feelings and sharing and struggles and, you know, more and more people are having these kinds of conversations and that, that's, those are the ones I always like to have, you know. I don't ever understood the other superficial salary one like stats and things like nothing like that ever really mattered to me I've always cared more about how people felt if they're having trouble and you know things that they can do to get through that and I don't know it seems like the world's kind of tipping my favor for once hope y'all have a rad evening peace